Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, free flying lesson. Friends, today we're going to see if we can fly with our classmates. So let's get cracking. The first thing we're going to do is enable cookies. We can hit close on this screen, and I need you to sign in. We're going to sign in using Google. I'm going to hit close. And now I'm quickly going to click on my account page and I need to make a call sign. I'm going to be HL Mod Tech. You can put whatever you want. You need to check to see if it's available. I am available and I'm going to hit save changes. So now when I hit fly, it gives us the quick briefing. We're going to use the plus and minus keys for the throttle. We are going to learn to fly with the mouse. We're going to stay with that. As we gain speed, we're going to pull the stick down the screen. So notice here I'm on the bottom of the screen. This is stick down. This is stick up. And then right in here is the middle when you're flying level. This is how you will bank right and left. Press R if you get out of control. And then you'll also learn how to use autopilot. When it launches, it does take a while for the world to arrive. When it does arrive, you'll notice that now there may be other pilots beside you. I'm going to quickly mute this, and you can see that there are other airplanes right beside me. I am going to hit the plus sign to increase my throttle, and you'll see my plane start to move forward. I'm keeping the mouse on the middle. And then as I reach speed, when I get above 40 knots, there I move my mouse to point at it. When I get above 60 knots, then I'm going to pull the mouse straight down so that I can start to elevate off the runway. So there goes 60 knots. Here comes my mouse down. And I'm just going a little bit down the screen. And there we take off. Now you want to stay below so that you can keep climbing. But you don't want to climb so fast that you stall. Over on the left, you can see the brown horizon ring. Notice how I'm keeping that nice and level. That's because my mouse is in the middle of the screen. If I start to go to the right, you'll see my airplane bank, and I bank towards the right. Once you start that bank, if you move back to the middle, it just holds it. I'm going to bring it back to level by going past and then bring it back to level and keep it that way and climb up a little higher. Notice I just hit plus on my throttle and you can see that now I'm in the red line. That's not good for my engine. So I'm gonna back up minus and bring that to the green, which is a better cruising speed. So you've got your plane in the air and you're flying with a mouse. How do you find your friends? I'm going to hit P to pause. Notice now nothing moves. And up here you can see there are 185 of us that are in the simulation. I want to change the location. You could pick one of these that you and your friends wanted to show up at. I'm going to tell you right now to type in your zip code. We're going to be at 49424. When you hit go, it'll redraw. I'm going to hit P to be back in the air flying. I've got my mouse up on the top, and I don't want to crash, so I'm lowering it down and getting level. If you start to get out of control, you can use autopilot, and that'll bring it, bring it back to level for you. While it's doing this, I'm looking at my throttle, which is at almost at zero, so I'm hitting the plus sign to bring up my throttle. And now I'm going to click autopilot and bring my mouse quickly back down and take control. Notice I had to get my mouse from that autopilot down to the middle so that I wasn't crashing. Now you can try and fly around and find your classmates. Have fun with this and make sure that you get your skills so that you're able to fly the way you want. And then I want you to switch to a special airplane. Hit P to pause and go to the aircraft button and I want you to use the Cessna 172. You can pick the classic or the modern, but what's cool about this is we actually use this plane for our flight plan lesson. I'm gonna hit R to restart the flight. There's my sweet Cessna. I'm gonna shut off the pause 
and check it out. We're flying the same airplane that we saw in our lesson. Notice when it reset, my throttle went back down, so I have to raise it up. My plane's starting to stall, which made it so it landed. If at any time you crash, just hit R to restart your flight. We're back in control. Right now, I want to try and get this Cessna to that Sawyer International Airport. We're going to do that by hitting pause, going down to the location, and in the search box, this time I'm going to type Sawyer International Airport. Of course, the better you spell it, the more chance there is you'll get there. If this works, we should be in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And I think right out there, that is Lake Superior. So let's go fly at it. Once again, I'm increasing my throttle. You can see it going up, keeping my elevation. And you could actually, at this point, totally recreate your flight to Massachusetts. All right, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this. Real quickly, I'm gonna show you that we can pause and you can adjust your cameras. There are many, many fun ones, so you can actually like be inside the cockpit of the plane. Now when I hit play, I've still got my mouse and down makes it dive down. Gotta shut off autopilot. So I can still fly around, but I'm looking like I'm actually in the aircraft. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. I have it on autopilot, so we're flying right by that Sawyer International Airport. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this. If you did, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.